Hey, winter's right around the corner, and we're on your way getting you ready for the everything East Tennessee has in store during the coldest months of the year. Our winter weather awareness continues now with six storm team meteorologist Victoria Cavalieri. She has a look at different types of snow and what causes some snowballs to be better than others. Victoria? That's right, Matt. This is a really exciting story to do. So essentially, I'm breaking down the science behind a wet snow and a dry snow and how that's going to impact your snowmen and snowball making abilities. Have you ever wondered why some snow is the best to make snowballs with while other times we get snow and it's sort of powdery? The difference here is because sometimes we classify snow as wet or dry snow. So what really does this entail? Well, essentially it's the amount of liquid content in the snow that makes it a wet snow or a dry snow. Now wet snows tend to be denser. That's when you can create really great snowballs and snowmen, but unfortunately it's also really difficult to shovel. Now dry snow snow is more powdery and dusty and that snow really tends to blow in the wind very easily. One of the things that impacts this is the temperature reading aloft when it snows. So temperature plays a key factor in whether or not you're going to see a wet or a dry snow. If that temperature aloft is just a little bit greater than 32 degrees Fahrenheit, the snow essentially has to melt a little bit and that causes this to be more of a wet snow. We get a greater amount of liquid in that snow. When it's much colder than 32 degrees Fahrenheit, we typically see that drier snow with a lower water content. So let's talk about snow ratio now, our typical snow ratio that we often use forecasting is what we call a 10 to 1 snow ratio. So essentially that means if it snows 10 inches, if you were to melt all the water in the snow, you'd get about one inch of liquid. Now compare this to a very dry snow. This happens when we have a 20 to 1 snow ratio. So it snows 10 inches, but because the ratio is 20 to 1, we only squeeze out about a half inch an inch of liquid water. Now an extremely wet snow, an example of that snow ratio would be about eight to one. We of course forecast for different kinds of snows here in East Tennessee, but those dry snows, that's when it's really powdery. Wet snow is when it's heavier and a little bit more difficult to shovel. Did she just say we're gonna have 20 inches of snow? No, no, she didn't say that. <laughs> but we're no, going to no. give you our winter weather awareness coverage continuing all week. We're on WATE 6 on your side. Storm team tackles different st uh, topics ranging from how wind chill affects your body to black ice. So be sure to join us this week and for winter weather awareness.